where do you see us as a human species or a culture going with Christianity, say, 100 years from now? You know, the technology that has changed dramatically in the last several decades since you built Answers in Genesis is only going to increase, and you and I have no idea uh, what it's going to evolve to. I just want to get your take on it. Do you think there'll be more or less of it? Will it alter? What is your opinion? Well, that's interesting because uh, now we would be talking about people's views of end right. times and right. uh, what's going to happen. You know, at the Creation Museum, we take people on a walk through the history of the world according to the Bible, mm -hmm. from the book of Genesis to the last book of Revelation. It's called Creation, Corruption, Catastrophe, Confusion. So it's a perfect creation, marred by sin, death as a consequence, and the flood of Noah's day, confusion, the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, formed all the different people groups. And then Christ cross consummation. And here's the point I say to people. Creation, corruption, confusion, catastrophe, Christ, cross, that's already passed. That's already happened. There's only one sea to go, consummation. Mm. And we don't know where we are in regard to when that will happen. Uh, for instance, in Second Peter 3 in the Bible, it, there are people who are asking, where's the promise of his coming? You know, because everything's just gone on since the beginning. And it says there, to God, a day is like a thousand years, or a thousand years is like a day. And it's talking about the last days. And as I say to people, okay, from a biblical perspective, we're in the last days. The thing is, we don't know how last we are. We just know we're, all, we're more last than we were, right? <laughs> yeah. so, so what does that mean? Uh, what that means is this. You know, one, of, one of the things that I, I, I've said, even in this interview, is that one of the verses of Scripture I always remember is to occupy till he comes, to do business till he comes, to do the business of the King of Kings. So to me, it doesn't matter where the world is at. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how bad it is or good it is or whatever it is. We're to be on about the business of the King of Kings and doing our best uh, to reach people with the message of God's Word and the Gospel. And we should be using all the available technology. Look, anything can be used for good or evil purposes. It's true. And so the Internet can be used for good and evil. Uh, television can be used for good and evil. You know, radio can be used for good and evil. We want to take the technology that we have and use it to the best of our ability to reach as many people as we can. So I always like to be on the edge, cutting edge, of technology mm -hmm. so that you know, our staff know that, you know, you don't just buy new technology for new technology's sake, but something that's going to enable us to reach more people. Uh, that's what we should be doing. That's what, what we should be uh, looking at. And I don't know what's going to happen in the sure. future. I mean, in yeah. America, there's no doubt that the church is not impacting the culture as it used to. The Christian influence is waning in America. In fact, our whole Western world, the Christian influence is waning. And that's, I believe, partly because we've had generations who've been so secularized and not taught to defend their faith, which is what our organization is trying to overcome. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing the best we can to overcome that. I mean, it is very possible that there could be a new reformation in America and a big return to the Word of God. Okay. That's what I would pray. Mm -hmm. uh, but even if that does not happen, I need to be on about the business of the King.